Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley and today we're going to be looking at the Maxxis E-Deliver 3. So let's get started. What we'll do is we'll walk around the van look at the cargo area on the back, then go in the cab and take it out on the road and give you an all-around review. So this is the Maxxis, the new name for LDV. Parent company is SAIC, Chinese manufacturer. Actually the same company as my recent review for the MG ZS EV. And similar to that car, you have a front charging port. But this is a ground up EV. There are no other petrol or diesel versions of this. This is the first of a kind for uh, Maxxis uh, and also for LDV that they have developed this ground up EV. Really like the front of it. This is where the charging port is on the actual in the grill and similar to the MG it has a uh, CCS and also um, type 2. Uh, these are garage plates so don't worry about that. Um, running LED daylights um, impressive. I really, really like it. It's actually, it's probably up against the likes of the Nissan ENV200, um, and this is slightly bigger and better looking, in my opinion. So, looks impressive, looks modern, looks futuristic, uh, and I really like these uh, LED running daylights. Uh, the main lights aren't LED, but those ones are. Um, let's have a look around the uh, the side. It's a single sliding door. The Maxxis E-Deliver 3 is a two-person van. Uh, it has one seat. There isn't a two-seat on this side. It's just one and one, uh, but good big size doors uh, and also the sliding door as well. Uh, 0.7 meters wide, 1.2 meters tall. Uh, bulkhead does come in on the cargo area, but not too bad. Uh, you have some tie-off points but you also can get this bulkhead with a optional window so you can see what's happening in the back of it. And good non-step flooring on it. Um, and your cargo bay light as well. But overall, um, easy to get in, easy to get out. Let's have a look around the back. Around the back you have your LED central brake light at the back uh, and your two regular taillights at the back. You can see that it is the uh, nice blue E signifying the electric vehicle element of it. Uh, otherwise there isn't really much on it that will let you know that it's electric. Obviously this one is branded up uh, by Harris Group. Uh, it's a 60-40 door um, and you can see the parent company there, Sayak Motors, uh, proudly on it. Good big wide door openers. So they'll hold there. Uh, just with a notch system and then they'll go 180. Now there is no, if it's a windy day, there is no way of locking them there. Uh, so that would be a downside to it. Internal door handle. And you've got the 40 side on that side as well. But otherwise really good cargo bay area. You've got your, as mentioned, you've got your tie-off points, four in the back. Uh, and you can fit a Euro pallet through it. Depending on the length of the van that you have will dictate the weight. So it comes in three variations, short wheelbase, long wheelbase, and chassis platform as well. Uh, and dependent on will uh, increase uh, on the size. So this is the short wheelbase, and this has the lowest weight capacity of just under around 900 kgs. And then that starts to creep up depending on the chassis. Also comes in two battery sizes as well, but we'll talk about that more inside in the cab. So let's have a look in the cab and then we'll take it out on the road. So this is literally fresh out of the factory, so there are some still plastic bits on it. Let's start uh, from the driver's side, work our way over. So on the driver door, you have uh, really good um, wing mirrors for visibility and also the driving position is a really nice driving position. I'll talk about that more once we're out on the road. You have your central lock and buttons on the side here and you also have your two front electric windows. Steer wheel is a good size, flat bottom, three, um, three spoke. On the right hand side you have your volume and your radios and then you have your mute button and you're connecting to your Bluetooth in the phone. And on the right hand side then you have your cruise control. There are some other buttons on the steering wheel but uh, that must be for optional extras, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, behind that then you have lights on the left and on the right you have your wipers. Uh, the steering wheel itself up and down but uh, doesn't go in and out. So again similar to the um, 
MG ZS EV. So I'd say there's a few components similar underneath. The driver's console is very familiar. Uh, if you remember my larger electric van review, my first one, which was the LDV EV80, uh, it's the exact same as that. So I'll stick the, review, the link to that review. If you're looking for a larger commercial vehicle, uh, it would be complimentary to this. Uh, but I know that the Maxxis brand are bringing out the Deliver 9, which is that, but in a rebranded name uh, and a fresher model. On the driver display itself, on the right-hand side, you've got your battery level and whether you're putting power in or taking power out of the battery. Then you've got your analog speedometer with your miles and your kilometers. And then on the left-hand side, you've got this kind of rotating information screen. What mode you're in, uh, is there a door open, your battery, um, not your battery, your tyre pressure sensor levels uh, all the way around. Uh, that's it in front of the driver. On the right hand side then you have your uh, electrically adjusted side mirrors. You have your level of lights depending on the load in the back. Then you have your um, ABS whether it's on or off. Then you've got your eco mode or regular mode so there's two levels. Uh, then you've got your heated uh, rear side mirrors uh, and then you have your regen level and that can be low medium or high so there's two driving modes which are over here eco or normal and then three regen levels which are low medium or high so that's on the right hand side then we move over to the, there's a nice piano black finish on the dial it's uh, on the uh, infotainment system itself uh, touch screen and there's also a home button so mainly you've got your vehicle settings follow me home lights how long are they going to stay on for auto unlock um, then you have your phone integration, which is Bluetooth. You've got radio, or if you're gonna use a USB for music. Um, and then you have um, AM, FM radio, uh, and also the, um, the uh, if you've got a USB or a phone that you'd like to stick in with. Um, and usually enough, you can't, there's no twisty knob for the volume on this one. So you have to use the um, tactile buttons on the steering wheel. Beside that then you've also got two slots for cards, for pass cards or whatever it may be, uh, your home button. Underneath that then you've got your uh, twisty knob for your uh, heated system. So your air conditioning is standard, uh, where you want the air to blow, uh, front windscreen demister, whether you want to keep the air inside uh, recirculating in the van. And then you can either have uh, heat or air conditioning. Um, and there is no temperature on that. It's either going to be cold or it's going to be hot uh, and you get to control how fast or how cold that is going to be um, blowing at you. Underneath that then you've got a USB, you've got a tiny little shelf that will take ish a phone uh, and then you've got your 12 volt as well. You've got your gear mode selector, reverse, neutral and drive and then when you put it in reverse, in reverse you've got a full colour screen on the 7 inch screen, uh, back into neutral Underneath that then down here, if you have spec that you will get front, um, you will get heated seats. Uh, you've got a manual handbrake, unlike the LDV EV80. Uh, this one is a manual one. You've got some cup holders. Then uh, it comes over here. This is the only, um, this is what they call the glove box, but um, it is an open pocket. So there is no glove box over here. There is also no airbag over here, which is a bit of an unusual one. No shelf up top. There is an SOS button and you've got your uh, lights. Uh, no mirror there, and no mirror there, two sun visors. So you've got storage here, you've got good storage in the side pockets and the doors. Then you've got some storage underneath here and you've got your two cup holders. Uh, seats are good, really comfortable. We've got the bulkhead as we said on that. Hopefully you're enjoying the review. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more commercial electric vehicles. Uh, it's not a huge range on the Irish market at the moment, but um, this is another one off the list. Uh, this is going to go up against the likes of the Nissan ENV200, which I'm looking to get on the channel uh, hopefully soon so I can compare and contrast. I haven't driven that one yet, but that one's based on the back of the Nissan LEAF, whereas this is ground up EV, uh, specifically a light commercial vehicle. Uh, and this size is the perfect size for food delivery, getting into multi-story car parks for apartments, etc. Um, so it is the perfect little city and town and urban runaround with the two different battery sizes. Uh, we'll go through the different miles that we can expect, sorry, kilometers that we can expect. This is the smaller battery size and I'm getting about 160 kilometers. And then the larger one is getting about 250 kilometers is what I'm told. Discs uh, front and rear are ventilated, so it's disc brakes on front and rear. So the two battery sizes for the e Deliver 3 are 35 
kilowatt hour batteries and 52 and a half kilowatt hour battery uh, and that would get you respectively 160 kilometers or 250 kilometers range so depending on and then if you can start having the different body shapes the short wheelbase the long wheelbase the chassis platform uh, there's lots of different choices depending on your needs uh, once you figure out which one suits the electric motor is the exact same no matter what uh, body length or shape or uh, type that you get or even which size battery you get it's a 90 kilowatt um, electric motor and that gives you 255 newton meters of torque no problem with the pickup and also taking off uh, at lights or anything like that so well powered and they've rated it in any of the brochures uh, they've rated it for with the 75 percent load so it's not as if they're rating it with nothing in it they have put some load in the back of it and uh, giving you those figures depending on so i'd recommend popping along to your local maxis dealer uh, and seeing uh, if you can get a test drive in it the short wheelbase cuts a capacity of 905 kilograms then the long wheelbase gets a capacity of 1050 kilograms and then the platform chassis gets a capacity a weight capacity of 1202 kilograms let's take it out on the road and see what it's like So like the LDB EV80, you hold the key down, you hear that bing, and it has the ready sign into drive, handbrake off, it's not an automatic handbrake, um, and let's head off. It has a pedestrian warning noise up to a certain level, I don't think you're going to be able to pick it up. You may be able to pick it up actually. Uh, it is loud enough. Um, I love the seating position, I think it's a lovely seating position. Um, it's lovely and upright and it's higher up than a lot of um, other light commercial vehicles that you have. That is a stunning sun for the evening. It's got adaptive cruise control. The range is decent. If you want the bigger battery or the smaller battery, it's good to have the different chassis lengths as well. It's a good... Um, there's a great range, pardon the pun, range of, um, with regards to how far it'll go, but also the different types of um, delivery or whatever type of vehicle that you're looking for. So it will um, it'll suit a lot of people for different, uh, different formats. The 255 newton meters of torque is, uh, it's really good. It pulls away lovely. Great visibility. I love the windscreen. Uh, the fit and finish is really good. Uh, I'd like to see more storage space. In the concept one that was shown at uh, one of the commercial vehicle expos, they had a blue um, fa uh, dash. I liked that, the pictures of it. Now, this one's good. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's airy. It's not airy. It brightens up the dash, but... Um, I'd like a bit of colour in here as well. It's not bad. Uh, I love the touchscreen, the 8-inch. I think it is a, a big improvement on the um, the LDV EV80, the bigger van that I in that review, as I mentioned. Um, I'll put it in the description below. It is uh, at motorway. I'm going to give it a quick spin on the motorway to see what the motorway mileage is like. Um, just to make sure that the road noise isn't too crazy. You can hear the engine. Uh, there is very little sound insulation on that. So we're going at uh, 80 kilometers an hour there uh, and you can start to hear the whine of the engine. Now, not a lot of these light commercial vehicles will be going on um, a lot of motorways, maybe, I don't know but it, uh, you definitely can hear the engine on it. Got the heating turned on. I don't know what temperature it's at, but I've got the heating turned on. And it's toasty, I like it. Uh, it'd be great if there was a heated steering wheel. I know there's a heated seat option. Maybe there is a heated steering wheel option as well. It, it's good. I'm gonna see a lot more of these. It's sprightly away from the line. Nothing's gonna beat you in an electric vehicle away from the line unless it's another electric vehicle. It's great. yeah hopefully you're enjoying the review i'm looking forward to doing more commercial vehicles um i get a lot of requests for them actually on the channel 
in the comments let me know which uh, review you uh, what light commercial vehicle you'd like me to review if you haven't already subscribed I um, by subscribing you're showing me and you're showing YouTube that uh, you value what I do whether you watch all the videos or not it doesn't cost you anything over 80% of people who watch my videos don't actually subscribe so if you could subscribe as I mentioned it doesn't cost you anything but it shows YouTube and it shows me that uh, you're interested in what I'm what I'm doing AC charging takes about six hours and DC charging zero to 80 will get you in 45 minutes uh, prices for the AE delivery 3 starts off at 34,843 excluding VAT and just over 31,000 once grants are approved. So that is the review of the Maxxis E-Deliver 3. Really enjoyed my time with the van. Uh, it is great to have the ability of getting in and out of car parks and the size isn't too big. So this light commercial vehicle shape and then there's a lot more coming into the market. I know that the PSA group are after winning International Van of the Year with their variant of their uh, all their light commercial vehicle vans. So there's gonna to be tough competition. You've got the person that's there already, The uh, You've got the Nissan ENV200, who kind of have had it their own way. You've also got smaller electric vehicles, likes of the Kangoo. But this Maxxis E-Deliver 3 is going to bring a bit more competition to the marketplace. So thanks very much for watching. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review.